My priority as an educator, as an administrator, is to keep my students safe. I had a student ask me, Ms. Handel, if you got your own students out there, are you letting them in? And I gave her a very real, honest answer, no. And I'm not saying it to be mean. You made it to my class one time, my door gets closed, it's locked. I'm not opening my door to that. My students who got here on time are safe. My responsibility is to protect them. And in all seriousness, my responsibility is to pr protect me. I, I'm not laughing. I don't need I'm, nothing. Shh. All jokes aside, okay. uh, hello, hello, put it away. I'm going home to my family. I don't know about y'all. I don't play that. My door's gonna get closed. That door's gonna stay locked. If you get caught out there, I wish you the best. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm going home to my family. That's my priority. And whoever got here first, they getting home to their family. And so fighting is not funny. When I say get to class on time, get to class on time. My classroom is in the hot, hottest spot in building. And for those of you who were in here, you saw I walked calmly to the door and I pushed it closed. That crap could have came in my room. All of that could have came in my room and we wouldn't have been safe. Still got drama in the hallway. So please, when we say get to where you got to get, get to where you got to get. You going to class is a priority. I don't care what people got to say about you. She always want to go to class. Yes, I do. Because I want to graduate. That's why I'm here. I'm not trying to do six years of high school and keep being 21 and a senior. I'm here to graduate. So you have to do four years. And if you an athlete, I was an athlete. I'm telling y'all right now, Ball and your football coach, they nice. They're real nice, Vincent. They're real nice. And what I mean by real nice is the fact that some of y'all are still on a team. Don't jeopardize what you love. If you play football, that comes first. Your academics come first. You play volleyball, that comes first. You're a cheerleader, that comes first. School comes first. Your scholarships come first. Your recommendations come first. All of that comes first. They wanna be out there and act like assholes? Go ahead and let them. Because come senior year, who's not graduating? Who's not getting the recommendation? Who's not getting the scholarship? Everybody knows out there. This is why we're on you. That's the perfect example. That was not a fight. That was not a fight. That was a melee, that was a brawl, that was not a fight. You had teachers out there, administrators, security guards, police officers, really? Really? Don't get caught up. Please know that they're gonna distract you and they don't care. They don't care. Remember we said the first week of school, you're gonna know the difference, you're gonna learn the difference between people who you are cool with and friends. Yeah, cool with people were out there in the middle of the road. Your friends were the ones that got you behind the class one time. So just be mindful of that, okay? Be mindful of it. You're not the only class that's gonna hear this today. You're not the only one. I don't want you to feel like, hey, she's hitting on us. No, you're not going to be the only one. Fourth period won't hear it. Fifth period won't hear it. And to be, I'm really surprised when I'm like that. Oh, nobody okay. knows. What happened? I told you somebody stepped on my shoe. Hey, I didn't know, you know it was that bad. Be happy that was all that I'm happy. good though. Be happy a step foot with all that happened. From what we saw from the window, <laughs> I'm not laughing, it's not funny. 
We're talking about lives. This is 2021, it's not 1982. We're talking about people pulling out because so-and-so that said something. We're talking about people grabbing lives because so-and-so that said something. I've been through it. So when I tell y'all, get to class on time and don't get caught up in that crap, don't get caught up in it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Some of them think it's so funny and it's cool and it's this and it's that. It's not worth it. It's not. Especially if you're like involved in a club or an activity or a sport. That, what you're involved in, those positive things, that gets you into college. Your coach can write you a recommendation. Your teachers can write you a recommendation. Your guidance counselors can write you a recommendation. Those are, that's scholarship money. That's college. That's your future. Some of them are on, I'm not, I, some of them are on the five year plan. High school's not five years. <laughs> you're not trying to be here when you're 19, when you're 20. That's not how this works. It's not how it works. Just like you don't want to be 15 in eighth grade. <laughs> You don't want to be a 19-year-old senior. There is no 13th grade. After high school, it's called life. After this is life. There is no 13th grade. It's called college, military, or go get a job. That's, that's what it is. 